Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do post uh, depth of field using Lightwave de depth buffer. Um, I did this on some of my pictures to save up some printer time and uh, a few guys on the Newtech forum asked me how I do this so I thought why not make a little guide for this so here we go. I have this scene I made recently and uh, I took some of the surfaces off to make it render a little faster just for an example and uh, what we need here is to export the, the C buffer from this render here uh, and there are several ways to do this um, if you go into image processing up here and uh, you can then go into add image filter and here you have uh, two possibilities one of them is Photoshop PSD export and here you can do a hell lot of settings and choose where to export and 16 bits and uh, over here in the geometry you can select the depth buffer and also set some settings for that but I'm not going to use this because it's had this has uh, a serious amount of options and stuff and I don't want to go into this at the moment so I'll just kill this and go the simple way and uh, I'll take the render buffer export here in this I'm going to select which source I'm going to use and I'm going to use the depth buffer I also have some options in here I'm going to leave this for the moment I'm going to select PNG or you can select any other format and I'll type, uh, type a name here for the buffer here so for toot for tutorial and save I'm just going to close this up then uh, one thing that is important here is if you want this to get uh, proper uh, using Photoshop you need to enable an option doing the render so I'll uh, kill this and I'm going to render option and here it's important that you select on the render the depth buffer initializing. If you don't do this, you'll get some jacky edges um, on the render of the C buffer, and that's going to uh, kind of kill your DOF experience here. So that's very important. You remember to to set this up here. So uh, I've done this, and then I will go and hit F9 or render here and you can see now the image is rendering That's, it's going to take about 52 seconds so I might as well talk a little bit here but as you see here the image is uh, rendering and we're then going to I import the C buffer and the image into uh, Photoshop and I'll display it for you there how to use the C buffer to angelize uh, you know, to to uh, add some uh, nice depth of field and control the depth of field of your image and by doing that you can save a lot of render time because uh, some of the initializing here uh, is going to be a lot deeper if you have rendered depth of field within the camera um, I would like to add of course that in uh, Lightwave 11 that I don't have yet uh, send me money please <laughs> um, in light of 11 up here you can select the depth buffer as well and you can save that directly so you shouldn't need to make the exporter here but I'll take this image here save it out say PNG and so let's call this tutorial image and save this now if I go to into the folder now you see I have gotten the C buffer 2 t image here and if I open up this you can see this is how it looks right now so this is pretty neat I have another image here if you look at the edge here it looks rather smooth due to the angelizing but if I op open another test I did right before this to prepare you'll see here uh, without the angelizing 
turned on, you get, the, get these edges here. But let's take these two into Photoshop and have a look. So we go into Photoshop here and let's open uh, the third image and the C buffer and the extra C buffer. And I will zoom in, in a bit. Um, you have a, a good range here in the image. Uh, if you want to change the range, of course, you can go into uh, adjust the levels and you can crank this up a bit, move it a little bit around if you need that. Uh, for this, I'm not going, not going to do this because I think this will be pretty fine. So, I'll take uh, my image here with the anti-aliasing and Control A to select all, Control C to copy. I'll then go into this image here. I'm on going to go into the channels, click here, and I'm going to add a new channel, which is going to be the alpha channel. Into this channel, I will uh, paste in the C buffer, and I will go back here to display the image. Let's zoom in a bit here. I can flip this in so we get a little more space here for the tutorial and now I go into um, the filter and I select blur and I select lens blur and up here we are going to get an image that I'm going to resize a bit in a moment like this um, as you see here, I have the image and I have my controls over here. So, it's already applied the C buffer here to the, the, the depth of field. And as you see, it looks pretty nice uh, because it's remembering my last settings right now. But what you can see here is you have some fast stuff and you have some more accurate stuff. Then, you got the source here, which I have set to alpha, because that is my alpha channel, which contains the C buffer. And then I ha have the focal blur distance. This is the distance from the camera to where you want the blur to uh, be gone. Like, you want this to be in focus, you can move this back and forth. You'll see here, I can drag the focus closer to here and this will become in focus or I can move it deeper in to the image and see here I put the dice in focus instead and this out of focus and this out of focus uh, but the level of focus here is controlled by the radius so if I pull down the radius you'll see I remove a lot of the depth of field so by doing that that is kind of like controlling the f-stop on a normal camera. So if I want a small f-stop I can rise this and I'll get a very narrow narrow depth of field which is going to give a really nice look but as you see here I don't need to render and render and render and render this is almost real time and I can put my front in focus like this get the car in focus here I can put the back in focus, if we like that, and so on and so forth. And almost real time as you see. And again here, change the depth of field. So, this is in general what this is all about. And if I now click cancel. If you see here first, um, you can look, the edge here looks pretty nice on the depth of field. I'm then going to cancel here, I'm going to take my channels and I'm going to kill this and I'm going to select the other that didn't have the anti-aliasing. As you see here, I'm going to copy that it in instead and again Fold this in. Oops, I need to select here. Like this. And here we go again. Blur, lens blur. 
And now I got some different settings here. I need again to set the source, uh, which I can't. I may have messed up a little bit. I did. I did. I didn't paste in the new layer correctly, like this. So, fold this in and filter, blur, lens blur. Now we are running again. And I can zoom in a bit. And you can see now, you get these artifacts here. And some artifacts here. Some artifacts here. In the blur, that is not very nice. Also you see around, if you zoom in here, all the way around the dice here, you get this nasty artifact. That's not very nice. I'm going to use these settings here. Uh, like this, undo again, and I'm going to show you the difference here. So, I'll take the first layer here, I'll use the current lens blur without anti-aliasing on that, and I'm going to, on this, take the one with the anti-aliasing, and I'm going to fix that. Please paste, select here, and on this layer we are going to do the same again. And if I now zoom in here, you can see all these artifacts here, due to the anti-aliasing of the C buffer, is going away and getting a lot smoother. Also here, on the house, you see, some some of the edges is going to be sharper and some is going to be smoother, depending on where you localized your depth of field here. So. In general, this is going to give you a, a lot better result. But uh, there can be, of course, uh, edges where you, you need to move the dove a little bit around to play with the scene. But uh, it's, mi it's minor, minor stuff, minor adjustments. But uh, I hope this gives you a good idea how you can use the C-buffer to get some nice post, uh, more real-time depth of field. So, that's it for now, and uh, have fun!